bulletproof radio, a state of high performance. Uh, what I prefer to do if someone's going to do a, a QEEG is you have to have a neuroscience, not a doctor, because your MD won't know what to do. Look at it and go, hmm, here's what's going on. And, and it's, it's a full on exploration of the brain if you want to get right. into it. Otherwise, just getting it on paper doesn't matter. Right. Uh, but the, the risk of a quantitative EEG, uh, and this is more for listeners, you obviously know this stuff. It's that if you take an average of a thousand or ten thousand brains, and you say, "Okay, this is the average," mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you make that normal, well, you could say that's great. So now let's do some brain training, and let's train you to be normal. Except normal, another word for that is average, right? And if you're even one percent above average, you're abnormal. <laughs> so <laughs> half the population is going to get made dumber by that kind of training, and <laughs> half is going to be made better. So the A students become C students, the S students become C students. And that seems like a horrible world. <laughs> so cues are useful, but on an individual basis, like, do you want to look like everyone? It, it, it's like that uh, that song they made a while back, like, like looking at what the average of people like in music, and, and they made a song no one could listen to that should have <laughs> been the most popular song ever. We don't want to do that in our brains, yeah. right? How right. do we avoid right. that? Right. Yeah, there's a book, Everybody's Normal, to get to know them. <laughs> so the, I think um, we just have to be careful. We have to find out who you are. Yeah. And um, people have to learn to work with their own brains. Within, we have a, uh, a situation on, in uh, our company. We have this Theta Beta Anonymous. Theta Beta, is th but it's not anonymous because we know everybody's brains. Um, You're saying that people who work at the company because yeah, they're always looking for brains. Yeah, it's kind of a brains. joke, yeah. Yeah, we might but do some of that at Brody is a Zen too, which, which yeah, is a yeah, diff like very ooh, different kind of company. Like, like ooh, Wabi's an equipment ooh. manufacturer, yeah. just to be super clear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we, we uh, so Theta Beta is the famous ADHD marker. But at some point, uh, just people relate to that Theta Beta marker. and say, well, I identify as ADHD, but not as a disorder. They, they can use it to their strength. So once they know who they are, so you could say, yeah, theta beta should be in this range, but it would hurt some of the people that, for example, some of the quarterbacks, we've measured a lot of Hall of Fame quarterbacks, they have high theta beta. They have to see everything at once. If they focus one direction, they get killed. Right. Um, however, the, we also measure some uh, uh, Super Bowl winning defensive backs. They have to focus. So just different brains. Is that a wow. disorder? Is that if they all were normal, like you said, the quarterback would get killed. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So even so different positions on the field have different brains. It makes right. so much we sense. We got to appreciate it? the differences. And if it becomes a disorder, then yeah, do something about it. But first step is to know thyself. The I, I've had ADHD uh, for my whole life, and probably don't have nearly as much of it now, uh, just because you, know, you can tune the brain. But it is an absolutely superpower. It means you only pay attention to stuff you care about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as a researcher, for instance, and th there. Are there's no shortage of ADHD in physics and chemistry and hard sciences. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's abundantly common engineering. Um, so it, it's good because you just filter out all the stuff that's not the most interesting and it's bad because you might also have three interesting things and you bounce around and, and so, but to say it's a disorder, a lot of that is because people are taught, well, you're not normal, therefore you're bad versus right. you're not normal, right. therefore you have a potential superpower if you amplify that. And that's a big right. part of my life's path has been figuring that out and uh -huh. learning how to amplify my strengths and the weaknesses. Honestly, I can hire someone to do that or I can ask for help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. You don't have to pay people to do it because there's people who have their superpowers are my weaknesses. I'm like, can we be friends? And, and then it works. Yeah, right? and then the teams work well that way. Yeah. Like uh, somebody in this room who may or may not have high theta beta. Um, <laughs> great at sales, but there's a, a low theta beta people come around and say, okay, you know, did you get the email out? You know, it, which is perfect, perfect team. Let people be who they are.